Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Scout Craft server, guys. And we are currently at episode 12. So big, big ups for that, guys. As you can see right here, we have actually invested ourselves in a creeper farm. And as you can see, it is working like a charm. And I do plan on making a tutorial on this farm design in the future whoa that is really loud as you can see those creepers tend to uh get absolutely minced there and as you can see we have barely afk'd this at all and there's so much gunpowder which brings us to today's episode guys so this episode is going to be a break from the mega base guys we're going to take a little bit of a break from it just this episode so what we're going to do is we're actually going to AFK this a little bit more and we're going to gather up a lot of um, gunpowder and then we're going to go travel to get some sand because we're going to be making the Scout Craft Server's first TNT shop. And that is right. We're going to be making a new shop today, guys. So stay tuned for that. But we're going to get AFKing here and then I'm going to show you what we've got and then we're going to meet at the shopping district, guys. All right, guys, we've just done AFKing for quite some time, and it is absolutely ridiculous the amount of TNT we've just made. But take a look at the beacon we have just put down, which we did on stream. So check that out at twitch.tv slash madsify with two eyes. Follow me there as I do streams there. And yeah, so this is absolutely coming up a charm. This one will be green and that one will be orange and they will all have their different perks. Now, this, oh, I don't know how to take any damage then. Um, this is our TNT supply there and there. So that is absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to be selling them for about four diamonds per TNT stack, um, maybe even five. I think it's probably a reasonable amount considering the amount of time that it takes to farm sand. But we're gonna grab these couple of boxes, get our resources ready, and we'll see you at the shopping district to find a place where we can build the shop, guys. All right, guys, as we sleep here in the hostel that Vloop has kindly built for us scouts, we take a wander through our shopping district. And I've been shit. Ow. Ow, that is hazardous and must be removed. Um, we're going to check our shops for some sales. It seems like, oh, we've made profit there with two diamonds. Well done. I'm not even sure who bought that. Um, but as you can see, no more here and we'll check the record shop. So I've gone ahead and checked with Kurt and he says that there is no new sales in the uh, record shop, but I have added this and it's the limited edition note block doorbell. So a scout can choose if he wants to, uh, purchase one of these and I just build a note block song or doorbell that. Um, is worth 12 diamonds and their song of choice. Now, I noticed that Vloop has had further computer troubles and hasn't got around to our office upstairs. So either he will get his computer fixed or we will take on the role of doing that another time. But the main event of Treasure Island, which we've got a little bit of work to do on this episode, so stay tuned for that with a bit of the armor stands. We're gonna use a bit of name tags to get a little of a scene going on. But it looks like Oh, it looks like Odd Man has had two goes at this, and I did watch his video, and it is actually a substantial amount of loot that he gets. He actually gets two good boxes. So we'll chuck our diamonds in here, guys, and we'll show you where we're building this TNT shop. Now, I've chosen this area here, and this area is going to be the place and where we make our TNT shop. And I've got some big plans for this, so, I think it's time to hit that time-lapse time again, guys. What do you reckon? I think we should do this in a mega time-lapse. So, I really do hope you enjoy the time-lapse, and I'll catch you on the other side of it. So, without any further ado, let's hit it.
voila. Welcome back, guys. After that time lapse, I really did hope you enjoyed it. And take a look at the newest shopping district shop. It is known as Nothing because we do not know what this shop is going to be called. We know what it's going to sell. We're going to sell TNT, maybe potentially some rockets, um, explosive shop, basically. So the decision of the name is still up in the air. So comment below what you want this shop to be called, and I'll take into account every single one's comments, and the winner will probably be announced next episode. So what do you guys think of this? We've got the dirt path kind of going around. We've got the pipes all this is a pipe going all the way around, coming out through and down. This one uh, is a drainage pipe, which currently isn't being used, but this one is. So, and then another pipe coming in and around. There's a couple of chimneys for our industrial looking shop, and there's a big chimney up there as well. But yeah, guys, this has been one of the most enjoyable builds I've done so far. As you can see, we've got a little blowout up there. And in there, that uh, uh, some experiments went wrong, guys. Nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary, you know. Just another mad thing. But this brings us to the next step, and this is the interior. So we've got a little basement under here, which I think I'm going to put like uh, a little bit of contraptions and stuff to try and make it look like TNT is being um, produced under here. Um, but if we head into the top area. We see that this is also pretty bare as well. So the interior is the next step and getting this shop up and running. So guys, I think it's time to head into the interior. So we're going to check in in a moment once this interior is all done. All right, guys, we're back just from that quick little break there. And oh, look at this, guys. I reckon this has got to be the best interior I've done to date. So this is amazing. We've got the TNT looking like it's traveling along here. So also, if you have any ideas for this shop, let me know in the comments below also. Um, but yeah, we've got the little Enderman head and some TNT on mine carts as well. We've got the Ender chest here and our stock is loaded, guys. For the most part, we've got, ooh, we've got the gunpowder fully stacked. We don't have any rockets stacked though at the moment. I've, I've, got, to, I've got to work on a sugarcane farm for that. But you head in behind the counter here, we've got the gunpowder like drying. I've kind of gone for that a little effect to show it how it's made. Um, in this area here, we've got the uh, stairway. So that leads up to our office. And then down here is where our construction of the TNT is made. We also have this drying rack over here for the gunpowder before it's converted with sand. We've got our barrels here, got some blast furnaces. And the little back door here, which I'm not sure if you saw before. I think you might have. Um, has been a little bit of a break between recording these segments. But ooh, if we head upstairs here, what is what is going on? <laughs> and we head up here. It's a bit tight and congested, but we've got our little office where we can sit down and just listen to the other scouts blowing up stuff. <laughs> but that is basically the go of this build guys i really did hope you enjoyed the build as much as i did building it because it has been a really fun one and really challenging as well to try and get this interior going and exterior as well but now this is fully operational and as you can see let's do a little overview of it and the i think think i actually think that the nether rack roof really matches this build well so now that that build's done we got to head over to treasure cove and I've tried to name these armor stands that Floops put down, which are absolutely lovely, by the way. And as you can see, look, the divers are coming up, trying to get the shelter boxes out. Um, and there's a guy climbing the tree here. But I was wondering how we can actually name the armor stands. And I'm not too sure. I've tried looking it up, and I've tried using a name tag, and it just seems to take the name tag. So if you guys know the answer to that, please also let me know in the comments below. It would be greatly appreciated. But just before we close out the episode, guys, as you can see in my inventory right now, we are going to be paying Mr. Oddman a visit for his first scout mission. Now, this is going to work like a challenge, basically. Uh, so he will have to complete a challenge, and then he can use a scout mission of his own to palm off to another scout. Uh, we all get one, and it's all distributed at one time. So, oh, 
Um, we're going to go pay him a visit. So I'll see you when we get to Odd Man's Mega Mansion. So we just used the uh, accommodation of Odd Man MC just there. So thank you very much, Odd Man. Um, but look at this, guys. This is absolutely amazing. I've been meaning to check this out for quite some time now. And it is absolutely amazing. This portal work is absolutely unreal. And it looks like he's going to be needing a lot of TNT conveniently. So we may be making some profits there, guys. But the reason I'm here is for not checking out the base too much. I'm going to save that for a future video. And I don't want to spoil too much for Odd Man. But we want to place our uh, scout mission. And I need a chest. So I'm going to go have to get some wood. Now, the reason we're here is to actually place a scout mission's uh, task for him. So we're going to place this in the chest so he can see it wrap it around some glass and then perhaps we're going to place that beside it the obsidian on top and then the end crystal there as well so hopefully he can see that if i can i just i don't want to destroy that just in case it blows up we'll leave it at that for now so he should not miss that at all guys so hopefully he can uh see what he gets from that and see if he does append the task and complete it for us we'll check in with him when he completes the task so i think that's all i've got time for this episode guys i really did hope you enjoyed the episode and the builds within it has been a crazy episode and thank you so much for supporting me over the last couple of weeks without the uploads of scoutcraft they are back to normal uploads guys i've just been trying to reach a wider audience with my videos and creating some tutorials as well to help out the wider community of minecraft so without any further ado i think it's time to take off for this episode and i'll see you in the next one bye thanks for watching today's video please make sure you like and subscribe and check out these other videos have a nice day bye